Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is nested drawings. So we're going to take that project source file relationship, we're going to build on it, and I'm going to specifically take a look at a folder here as an example uh, that we can all play around with. I'm going to go to the O drive, I'm going to go to student, construction, instructors, my name, shared data, ENGD374, and in there I have a folder called lab1, and I'm going to copy the nested drawings class example folder and you can copy it too so copy that folder uh, and paste it somewhere local like on a D drive so I've pasted it here uh, under my D drive nested drawings class example let's take a look what's inside this file now uh, what I have is I have a whole bunch of data and let's pretend that all this data is contained in one drawing file so if I was to store all my information in one drawing file you're gonna see that I have a very busy and very large drawing and you can tell my cursor lags quite a bit uh, it's gonna be very long uh, regen times and processing because there's so much information stored in this one drawing now you can tell I've got uh, lots of layers and, and lots of information this drawing file is, is quite large I don't typically like to work like this because it does slow down productivity and it's not very good as far as drawing organization. So what we can do, uh, a better option is to nest files within other source files. And what I mean by this is that we have two drawing folders here. I have one called cadastral which contains all my uh, cadastral and survey information. If I go in there I have three different files, boundary, break line, and street walks. All three of these files uh, are somewhat related to each other. If I go into the topography folder I have all my contour and label data. Anything that makes up my surface. So all those four files have some type of a relationship with each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to nest all the topography files inside a single source file and I'm going to nest all of the cadastral files inside another single source file. What I can do then is I can attach the two source files and all my drawings come in to my project. Let's give it a try. So I'm going to start a brand new drawing here and I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to store it in the cadastral folder and I'm going to call this cadastral project and I'm going to save it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop all of my cadastral files into my cadastral project drawing. I'm going to select them in Windows Explorer. So I've got street walks, break lines, boundary selected. I just drag and drop it into the Windows Explorer, select it, and uh, I'm just going to do a quick view just to check it real, really quick. And I'm going to right click on the drawings folder. I'm going to select quick view and uh, make sure zoom extents is turned on. Click OK. And there's all my uh, cadastral information. That looks good. I'm going to do a regen to make it disappear and I'm going to click Save. All right. Now what I have is I have a cadastral project folder or cadastral project drawing and I have attached as source files my three uh, cadastral drawing files. Streets and walks, boundary and break line. I'm going to close this drawing down now and I'm going to start another new file. And I'm going to save this file into the topography folder. So I'm going to name this file, guess what? Topography Project. And I'm going to click Save. Okay, it's an empty file. But again, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag and drop, or in other words, attach as source files, my four topography files. Okay, I don't want to drag and drop my topography project drawing because that's the one I'm currently in. Okay, So I select my four files, drag and drop them into the topography project drawing and I have my four files now attached. I'm going to right click on the drawings folder in the map explorer tab, go quick view, make sure zoom extents is on and click OK and there's all my topography. Okay, Now I'm going to save that, I'm going to close it down so what I have now, if I take a look at my, my uh, two folders, I have a cadastral folder and I have uh, in there a cadastral project file that's brand new. And inside that file I have stored 
or attached to source files, my streets and walks, break lines and boundary. And the same thing goes for the topography file. So the last step is I'm going to make a master project. I'm going to start a brand new drawing. I'm going to start a brand new drawing. I'm going to click save. And I'm going to just save this. Uh, it doesn't really matter where you save it. I'm going to call this master project. All right. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach just two files. I'm going to drag and drop my cadastral project into the Map Explorer tab. All right. And once I do that, you'll see there's my cadastral project. But what makes this different is that this source file contains some nested drawings. And I can tell that because there's a little expandable plus sign there. And if I expand that out, guess what? I've got those three files that are nested inside that project. So I can save myself a lot of time by attaching those source files into my cadastral project file and just attaching that source file. All right. I'm going to do the same for the topography. I'm going to go to the topography folder and I'm going to grab that topography project file and I'm going to drag and drop that over into the map explorer tab. Now I've got my two files there. I can expand that out. There's my four topography data files attached in there as well. Now I'm going to right click the drawings folder and I'm going to go quick view and I'm going to do a quick view extents on every single file there. All seven files and there they all come. All right. Now, what makes this nice is that when I save this drawing and go into my Windows Explorer, I can take a look at this uh, original file that I had open. Take a look. So that file that contained all that data stored in one drawing was 12 megs. All right. Now, in the master project file that has the, the source files and nested files attached to it, it's a mere 86 kilobytes. All right, so the file size is very, very manageable. And now in the uh, coming weeks, we'll talk about how we can pull just the information we want from the source files into my, my project data. All right, thanks. And that's our lesson on nested files.